If you are into the waste industry, recycling, skips, you are in the right place, click subscribe because that's what all our videos are about. If that's not what you're into, you're in the wrong place. So, happy new year to everybody. And I have got a crazy story, which I wouldn't bring to you, but this story is a position that I've been in myself. So it's regarding a skip boss. He's gone to pick his skip up because he's not been paid. I've been in that situation many a times. I've got a clipboard full of people who haven't paid us for stuff over the years. Your driver drops it, the ring up and say, I'll come in and pay you and never see him ever again. But what's happened with this guy, this is why this story is uh, controversial. So he's been done for not having a permit and running a small scale transfer station. And at the same time, he's gone, he's been, so he's had a prison sentence for that 12 weeks. Then he's gone to pick this skip up and, he, and the guy at the house where he's picking the skip up has ended up having a fight with him. So he, the, the customer has started a fight with him. The customer's come off worse and the guy from the skip company has ended up going to prison. So I'm going to tell you the story. There's not a great deal of footage in this video. It's going to be mainly me telling you about it. But it's not been covered by a lot of the recycling newspapers and stuff like that. I come across it. It was on, a, on my feed on Facebook. I'm going to read this as the paper of said it so basically they've called this skip company owner they've called him a bully the company owner was called daniel jenkins from a company called digaway i've read through this story and there's two parts to it obviously there's the not having a permit and then there's the fighting with a customer so the reason why this story came like to my attention obviously it's quite interesting that somebody's had a fight with a guy on a job and stuff like that but the bit what intrigued me more than any other stories do, I certainly don't think that this man went there for any trouble. Definitely not. We've all been there. The problem was the man was involved in running the company, owned the company, so he's gone down there himself, where if it was just a truck driver going down there and the man started kicking off the truck driver driver away, he's got no invested interest, so the man's basically... Add him over, he's got a skip there and he hasn't been paid. He wouldn't have gone there, wouldn't have wanted no trouble. Got his skip, he's, he's started to tip it out. The man's jumped in the lorry, they've ended up having a fight. The, 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 the From reading the papers, the, the stories are all over the place. The, 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 the gist of the story is there, but these newspapers, they don't half add some stuff, you know, bully skip driver and stuff. You know, the, there's no need to say that. If the custom, if the man's tipping his skip out, says I'm having my skip back because I ain't been paid and the customer jumps into the truck and starts a fight well i would hardly say that's a bully a bully skip man but you guys might know this company and might have dealt with them and you know way better than i do i don't know anything i'm just going by the story so the fallen out the lorry i think he's pulled him out the lorry or jumped out the lorry they've ended up having a scuffle on the floor and this is where the man's ended up with some jail time so he's been given two and a half years in jail a couple of years in jail and then he's been running a site with no permit and been given a new uh another 13 weeks on top of that he would have got a suspended sentence but if you're already in prison for a crime and you get another um offense with waste or anything else the, the all they can do is give you a prison sentence because you're already in prison they can't give you a community service they can't give you thing it's usually a prison sentence i've known some local lads who've got like 10 days in prison because i was already in prison for doing waste flat tipping and stuff so these two guys they fell out the lorry they're on the floor and the skip driver has then stamped downwards onto the victim. So I presume they've gone onto the floor. The, the skip driver's maybe got up and, and stamped down on him. He's got a, a broken collarbone and he's got a, a fracture in his shoulder. And they're saying that they don't know if it was from the fall or from him kicking him on the floor. So obviously that part of it was a little bit too far. He should have not kicked him. Well, he was down, and he probably would have got no prison time, to be fair, if the guy had figured. But what this story, the part of it what got me, like I say, at the beginning, the guys jumped into lorry, started a fight. By the sounds of it, he's got, he's got the worst of him. So they've done, like, an impact statement, which the government will ask for the police to basically say how they feel and stuff like that. And the man on the job, uh, the customer, has said that he feels like he's got nothing to live for anymore. So, again, controversial. What do you think? If you have a fight with somebody, is your life not worth living anymore? If 
it's a crazy, crazy, crazy situation as always. You know, I try and pick the more crazy stuff to talk about. As the story unfolds, it turns out that the man at the property, he had paid for the skip to the builder and the builder hadn't paid the skip driver. So the skip driver had gone to pick his skip up and tip it out because he hasn't been paid. The man at the property then has started the altercation, jumped into the lorry and said, you're not tipping that on my drive, blah, blah, blah. He was obviously a tasty guy. You know, most people would stand there and just put their hands on their head and you know, stay out the way of any confrontation. The guys obviously stood his ground and it's ended up in a fight. And um, I, I guarantee if you're in the skip industry, you've had this a million times where somebody pays a builder, you don't get paid and you go pick your skip up and you need paying the guys like I've already paid the builder and they'll show you a receipt for it. They'll show you a receipt. Look, I've done an extension, including skips. Builders, nowhere to be seen. It's very, very common for us in the skip industry. And that's why I have a little bit of sympathy for both sides. For the skip company, he wants his skip. He, I mean, how can skip companies run if you don't get paid? But not only do you not get paid, you also end up with a tipping bill to get rid of the rubbish. So, you, you know, you're getting kicked all ways. And that's why I, in this story, I have sympathy for both sides. If there's a fight, a man goes onto the floor, certainly shouldn't kick him well or down. And at the other side of the, well, you know, we want there, but you, you skip needs paying for, and the man should have been paid. So it's everybody's a little bit to blame in this story, I think. But give me your, give me your advice down below, and you know, give me give me your thoughts. The part of the story is where the customer's dragged him out the lorry. He's gone to the floor. They've both gone to the floor. He, by reading the story, he's actually dragged him like this and pulled him out the lorry. They fell to the floor, and he's got he's basically come off worse. And then when you read the the story, when they're telling you that the man's in poor health and stuff like that, it's quite difficult to understand how it works. If he's started a fight because he's come off worse, he's now the victim. And that's how a lot of these stories, a lot of these stories can go. And it's not necessarily always straight cut and dry. There's definitely two sides to this story. And did the man deserve two and a half years in prison for it? Let me know what you think. If the driver would have been pulled out the lorry, banged his head on the floor, and he would have been in a in a worse state, he would be doing the victim's statement, and he'd be writing stuff. The the victim, as we're calling him the victim, the person else, he's basically said that he had a business restoring old minis. He's given that up now after this uh, fight, and he's suffering from a lot of mental health issues. He's also on strong pain medication, can't sleep, and he's just basically genuinely uh, struggling in life. He's obviously had some quite bad injuries from from the from the situation what happened. Like I say, I've never met this man, but then to basically call him uh, bully in different names. Well, the man at the property tried to pull him out the lorry, so it's you know again controversial. Depends what you like. If you the new generation where you're a little bit softer on the edges or you're the old generation where somebody says something you don't like and you get them told, you know, the new generation, you know, they're they not like that. So it's, yeah, difficult. Me personally, I would have said this was the customer's fault by trying to pull the drive out the lorry. But also then I would say it was the guy who was a skip company because he's, he's, they've both gone to the floor after you pulled him out. So you'd think that the first assault was done by the customer. But anyway, they've gone to the floor, he's kicked him on the floor, you can't do that. Even if even if somebody punches you in the eye, that's not a big thing. If you go to the floor and you can't fight, somebody kicks you in the head, it's very serious. So just remember that, if you pick your skips up, don't turn it into a team death match. He was sentenced to 26 months, so realistically he's going to do... So he's basically going to do a year in prison, which he's probably he's probably getting well through that now. Anyway, I don't know if you know they'll get tag and stuff. So you know, it's it's not a huge sentence, but is it a just one? What's your opinion? Somebody out there who's watching this video will know this man, and you'll know what he's like. He could be a real nice guy. I've seen the situation with skips often, where drivers get into confrontations, and it's it's common. It's really really common. Fights on building sites there every day. It's it's the type of people that are in that industry. And going on to the second part of this story, this is this is why this is so mad. This this is such a strange story. So the man's in prison for 26 months for this fight with a guy. And then he gets convicted by the Welsh Environment Agency 
for running a site with no permit. This guy is having a bad day, that is for sure. He was given a £7,000 fine and then also a 12-week custodial sentence for leaving his yard in some sort of mess. There's a picture here for you to have a look at. I've got a picture of his yard. Was he convicted of running a site after he went to prison for the other thing? So he couldn't, couldn't defend himself. It's such a mad story. You've got a driver, picks his skip up, has a fight with a customer, obviously gets the better of him, gets locked up, and then his, his site where he runs his yard out of, then he gets a fine for running that. I mean, talk about having some bad luck one after the other. That's how things come in it. Bad luck comes one after the other. So I'll tell you about what happened at the yard. So he's had a £7,000 fine and 12 weeks in prison. So I presume that will go on top of 26 months for his other charge, so another three months. This would be a big coincidence if it wasn't the same company. They've got the same name and the director's called the same name and they're also from the same town. So the company's called Diggerway Limited and he was found guilty of depositing controlled waste without an environmental permit. The officers went to the site in December 2021 for an inspection where he was given all the information of how to comply with a permit. Looking at the site pictures, I might think that he might have been better off with an exemption. He might not have had one. He might not have known how to get one. But it doesn't look like a large-scale operation. It looks like a fairly small operation. When the officers visited the site, they saw 20 to 30 skips on site. It doesn't say if they're full or empty and a pile of hardcore that was being used for crushing. If the man had had an exemption in place, you can do some small-scale crush, crushing and screening on a exemption. So he maybe just didn't have an exemption. I'm not sure of the severity, but this fine and prison sentence is quite high, and I'm thinking it was that way because he was already in prison for the fight with the customer. He also had to pay the environment agency fees of £3,125 to be prosecuted. So I don't know what everybody thinks of this story. It's crazy. Crazy story. I wish I had the I wish I had some CCTV footage to show you, but I, I don't have anything on this. This is just reporting from the different papers. So anyway, I hope you have a real good new year. I've got one more video before the end of the year of fly tipping, which is a crazy one. So see you in a couple of days and have a good Christmas. Bye now.